Brothers and sisters, Bangladesh is in a state of civil unrest and yet we remain asleep. For many of us, the facts are unknown and the truth is uncertain. Shabak protesters want hangings of Islamist politicians. The Bangladeshi government claims they have evidence of war crimes, yet they refuse to pass them to international courts. The Shabak movement is a government-sponsored attempt to curb and stop the influence of Islam on a scale that has never been seen before. The Guardian newspaper reports Shamsul Zaman, a 58-year-old timber trader who talks about Shabak. I quote, war crimes are just an excuse, he said. Bangladesh has so many problems. The people who are leading these mobs are atheists who insult Islam, Allah and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Does it have any credibility as a, a war crimes tribunal? Absolutely not. It's been condemned by the International Bar Association, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, and for anybody who studies these issues, you can see why it's unfair. The chairman of the tribunal, and one of the reasons why there's been an allegation of bias, is himself someone who sat on a commission that held investigations against the suspects accused and is mentioned in one of the exhibits that's a report on those matters and is in the case. So potentially, he could be made a defense witness or a prosecution witness. So there is no impartiality about this tribunal at all. This Shabag movement is made up of Muslims, Hindus, agnostics, atheists, secularists, nationalists. The leaders of this movement are a group of bloggers who are clear enemies of Islam. They make a mockery of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet and unveil the real motive behind their war crime demands. Here are some of the things they say, vindictive in nature and a direct attack against Muslims and Islam. I quote, Allah lovers are sleeping. There are no slaves of Allah to counter the attack against him. Everyone who replies in objection to my post is and I can't repeat the rest of the quote. Then they state hijab is the highest example of Saudi vulgarity. In Bangladesh by some of the bloggers huge attack they did to the Prophet to his wives, to his companions, to the deen of Allah, to Allah himself. One of the bloggers is saying Allah is taking the drug now because he is writing all this against Allah, Allah is not dealing with him. One of them saying that Muhammad, Muhammad's name, he changed Muhammad. It's in Bengali, Muhammad is great. And other one is Ahmak, means the stupid. He's telling Muhammad is a great stupid. One of the bloggers who's organizing the current uprising or current rally in the capital city, supported by the government, one of the bloggers, actually those bloggers who have been responsible through Facebook in bringing people together, wrote in his own blog that I've read with my own eyes. If Allah comes down, we will want to hang Allah too. You want to know the true faces of those people who are currently organizing the so-called revolution in Bangladesh? They are not only an atheist in their nature, but they are secular fundamentalists in every way possible. They hate Islam, and if they could have it their way, they will destroy every facet of Islam from Bangladesh. State media has not reported this. Opposition media have been banned and threatened with arrest. These are only a few statements of the many vile and attacking insults against Islam made by Shabak bloggers. Yet so many of us are oblivious to this reality and the media chooses not to report this. With this being the objective of Shabak, many innocent Muslims are being brutally murdered by police in broad daylight without any intervention from the Bangladeshi government. Human life seems so insignificant. Elders and children abused and disgraced merely for believing in Allah. This injustice continues whilst Shabak protesters are being fed and looked after by the very same government. We ask you to wake up brothers and sisters and help us raise this awareness and spread the truth of the injustices that are taking place right in front of our very eyes. <laughs>